Precision Computing. In today's video, we're going to be giving you an overview of the Thermaltake DPS-G uh, power supply software. Um, this can be utilized, as we see here, on the Thermaltake Tough Power DPS-G RGB 1250 watt, which is what I'm using in my Core P3 mod that I've done for Thermaltake. Um, there's a big long list of power supplies that this software can be used for, and what's nice about it is um, it gives you some ideas on the box. Um, you know, Cloud OC, uh, it's got the DPS PC app, and then it also has a mobile app. Um, I'm going to be showing you the mobile app, and I'm going to do that before we actually get into the software so I can go over some features of that. And then we'll zoom in and we'll look real close to the screen here to see the features of the software for the PC itself. Um, and it's part of the SPM service architecture, which is all about uh, green computing, helping you being able to control what your computer uh, how much power usage it's using, well not necessarily control, but being able to monitor uh, the power usage, the heat, fan speed, lighting for the fans for the RGB versions, um, and things like that. It also gives you temperature sensors for your CPU and GPU. You can break down what kind of power statistics each of those are using, a total power uh, usage, um, and then you can calculate how much it's costing you to run your PC. <coughs> Excuse me. It'll give you a breakdown. Uh, you can do different uh, configurations on your phone, so you can see per hour, per day, per month, per year, etc. So you know exactly how much PC your electricity or how much electricity your PC is using, and how much it's costing you to run. Now, on our mobile app here, we just download it, we open it up, and it asks you to create a login for the Thermaltake mobile app. Once you do that, it'll automatically log you in each time that you come onto the app. Um, the first time, you will also have to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer. So if your computer's on you know, your in-home network, you'll have to be on the same Wi-Fi network on your mobile phone. You can do things like you can get a total analysis, which will show you the total time it's been running, how much cost it's costing you, uh, the kilowatts per hour, and what kind of electricity you've used. Uh, you can record statistics for certain time frames and it will automatically, as you can see, we will get alerts to our phone there directly from the app telling us that it's recording data or uploading data. Uh, the next feature here is remote um, and when we do that it will load our, uh, our, whoops, our power supply there and we can click on that. We can do things like turn the PC on and off remotely. Um, next we have its RGB. Now it's going to search on the Wi-Fi network and there we go just had to refresh by pulling down on the screen and then it's going to find the device once it finds the device it also recognizes the computer name that you've named it so once you click on that we have our our fan lighting options here so currently i have mine set to blue and i have the brightness all the way up we could change it to rgb just with the click of a button just like that so it'll scroll through the color wheel we can unclick that we're back to the color we want this one here does uh a nice dancing light effect. This one over here kind of does a, a flashing light effect. And then of course we can uncheck it and it's just back to our solid color and we can select on our color wheel here whatever color we want it to be and adjust the brightness at the bottom all remotely. We can also click on the play button down here, select a song from inside our phone, click done, and that song will play in the background. Now you don't even have to have the volume up on your phone, but if you do, the light effect on the power supply will go up and down with the song. I'm not going to play too much of that before YouTube tags me for using the song, which I'm not taking credit or copyright for that song. It belongs to the copyright holders. Um, so that's that. There's a little news feed where it'll give you uh, like stories of what has been going on with your power supply and also information from Thermaltake, and then map where you can allow it to use your location. So if you take your PC to different, say to a LAN party in a different state or a different location, you can see the kind of, all those statistics that you use, the power that you use and things like that while you are at that location. So it's a really nice little mobile app, very easy to download from the App Store, the Google Play Store. We go in, we search for TT D P S G. Click on it, the app comes up right there, and we can download it and install it on our phone for convenience of changing those features that we just went over. 
I'm going to go away from here for a minute and we're going to take a zoom in on the computer screen so we can take a better look at the software on the computer. We'll be right back. And thanks for staying tuned. Here we are with the Thermaltake DPSG app downloaded on our computer. Now from any web browser we can simply go to like say we search for our power supply thermal take DPS G1250 RGB titanium that'll take us directly to the thermal take product page for our power supply and on our power supply page here we can click on I believe it's support and we have the DPSG product app so we could click there on the download link we can see that it's version 2.4.6 currently when this was video was made on August 15th of 2017 we can download and install it now you have to have the cable plugged into the USB header from your power supply on your computer in order for the app to install and notice the power supply once we install the app, we can see here that we're on our 12, we can see our different rail, rails here of uh, electricity. So our 12 volt is running currently 12.1 volts. If we switch to our 5 volt, we see we're at a flat 5 volts. And our 3.3 is running at a flat 3.3 volts. So very accurate, very true to our power supply. RGB mode here, we can again change the LEDs on the fan. We can turn the LED off turn it back on. We can go through our modes that we had, same modes that we have on our smartphone, basically the same settings that's on the smartphone. We can look at the temperature here, 27.5 degrees Celsius that the power supply is running at. We can see our costs, which if we open up our uh, uh, little to the side here, or a little setting button, um, this is for uh, about 90 minutes. So that gives us an idea you could calculate the exact cost I don't have this uh, exactly calculated um, I'm imagining that's like 50 cents but uh, I don't have it exactly set precisely for my kilowatt hour cost so it's not going to be that accurate uh, we have our fan speed here right now it's at 528 rpm we see our little uh, gauge here that kind of looks like a gauge in your car because I have it running on silent mode I can set it to zero fan and the fan will only kick on when it needs to based on the uh, Celsius of the, the temperature of the, the power supply, which usually it'll kick on at about 50 Celsius. We can also set it to performance mode. And in performance mode, we should see the RPMs go up. Not much higher right now because the power supply is running very cool. So I'm going to set it back to silent mode, which is the mode I like to have it on. We can also go here and see the real-time efficiency of the power supply, which right now it's running at 92.1%. There's not really anything running on my computer. There's no load on the power supply. I've seen this power supply run as high as uh, 94%. It is an 80 plus titanium power supply, so it is within the realm of uh, the certification. Uh, we have our VGA temperature here, which is running at 27 Celsius. I did have... Um, MSI's afterburner application running on my other screen and that is accurate. The temperature is according to the same on that program. And our CPU here, we have our watts that our CPU is currently using. You can see that, so right now barely any usage going on. I'm sure if I move around the screen, it goes up a little bit. And I don't move the mouse and it drops down because the CPU is almost at idle. Then we have our CPU temperature here of 39 Celsius. This is not an individual core temperature. This is a group temperature. So if you're using an application like RealTemp, that gives you individual core temps. This is going to give you more of a package temperature. So you may see this as being higher than the individual core temps, depending on uh, what you're trying to read. And we get back to our voltage settings here. In our settings, we see language, clear the electricity cost, so we can reset the uh, app back to uh, when we first installed it. Support, user manual, location services, we can check for the software update or log in or log out of our app. And if we're logged in, you see that blue button doesn't highlight, so you know if you're logged into the app because you'll only be able to click log out. Here we can record, and you can see that I have data recorded here. We can export that data, 
and it'll export it into um, a comma separated value so we can import that into an Excel spreadsheet and get real time data of the power supply. The about button here will tell you it's the TPS uh, DPS app by Thermaltake Technology. If you click here, it'll take you to the Thermaltake Facebook page, also to the Thermaltake website. There's the product uh, link here for the website, and then it just gives you some copyright information. It also gives you the exact serial number of your power supply, which is kind of a little cut off here, and I think that's because I'm running at a 4K resolution on my monitor. So a couple things are kind of cut off on the app. That's something I will talk to Thermaltake about. As we can see, the edges of the numbers are a little bit cut off here. So that's everything having to do with the Thermaltake DPSG app for your PC. So to me, it's a very nifty tool that Thermaltake has uh, provided for us at no additional cost, and we can monitor exactly what our power supply is doing. Note, it does not work with all power supplies. On your power supply, there will be a, um, and it's included with uh, your power supply in the box if it's gonna be there, but there will be a plug right here with a micro USB port that plugs into a USB header on your motherboard. So if you have a power supply that's compatible, you'll have that included cable, you'll have that plug on the power supply, and then you can run this app and take some data from it. Um, it, it is on a few different series of the Thermaltake power supplies. Again, before you purchase, if you would like that app included, make sure you go to the Thermaltake product page to verify that that will be included with your power supply. Um, it's not going to be important to everyone. It's not going to be used by everyone. But for those that are looking to calculate how much cost uh, their, their PC is, is costing them to run, uh, even say like a, a mining farm, if somebody's mining and they want to know how much electricity they're using so they can calculate how much cost they're actually able to make with that mine, this would be an extremely useful tool because you don't have to do anything. You don't have to calculate it. You don't have to have a meter at the floor that you're trying to bend over and read how much you're using per hour on your meter and then find out, you know, here's what it is per hour, do all the calculations. The app will do it for you, plug in your kilowatt hour usage and, you know, your cost and boom, it'll calculate it out all for you. So it's a very useful tool in a lot of different ways. Again, it's included with a lot of the power supplies from Thermaltake. It's part of the new SPM platform and it's a really great, great tool to use. Thanks you guys for watching. Again, this is Mark with Precision Computing, Thermaltake DPSG app for your cell phone and for the PC. Stay tuned for the next video.